Welcome to Chicory's maintenance series. This time we're going to pickle the water maker. Now there's a couple steps to this we're going to start with. Number one, when I flush the water maker, we're taking uh, fresh water from our tanks and flushing the water maker and the filters. But what happens is the hose and sea strainer from the seacock, that has been stagnant for three weeks. So the water that's in there is going to be very, very smelly. And I don't want to run that through my filters and through the membranes. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the function of diverting this T-valve to the saltwater wash down on the bow. So this will flush all of that smelly water overboard and then we'll divert it back. I will disconnect this hose and then we'll use that um, to pickle the system. We'll do that first, then we're gonna change all of the filters so they're brand new. Just to reiterate, we have a 255 and 100 micron stainless steel filter, and then pre-filters that are uh, pleated paper for 20 micron and five micron. So I'll get back to you in a couple minutes once we have flushed the intake line and changed the filters. I just wanted to give you a shot of the uh, filters before I change them. You can see the 20 and the 5 are quite black. Um, these are relatively clean, but we'll show you them as we start to take them apart and clean them. So this is the 255 micron. You can see a little bit of debris there. And then Tracy's going to rinse the filter and you'll see So here is the uh, 20 micron filter. Part of this is it has had growth because it's been sitting for three weeks, but you can see um, that it's pretty cruddy and that smelled just a little bit, even though we've been doing freshwater flushes. Okay, so this is what the filter housings look like with clean filters. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to very s slowly start um, filling up and you can see I'm hitting the purge button to purge air out of there. Um, I don't want to force air through all the membranes. It's not going to hurt them but I would just rather fill these filter housings up um, prior to actually doing the uh, freshwater flush. So I'm just waiting for air water to come out there and I come to here. You can see that the first two membranes that I usually, I'm sorry, uh, filter housings that I keep um, stainless steel filters in, I pulled the filters out. There's no reason for me to do that when I'm pickling. So right now what I'm doing is this is the um, reading for the brine water, which is the water coming from the tanks, but it's been contaminated a little bit, so it's at 472 right now. And the water going through the product, you can see it's going up. My intention is to get this down to about 100 parts per million. What that means is my freshwater pump at 60, or I guess it was 48 pounds per square inch, can actually make water. It can desalinate what I have in the tanks. Now, this is starting to come down, you can see, um, and that's because it's cleaning out uh, the contaminants that were in the system that had built up in the last week. Um, and this should continue going up for a little bit. Oh, it's coming back down already. So, I'm just gonna watch this for a little bit. You can see that my freshwater pump is pumping through about 2.8 gallons per minute. And that's 248. I'll be back in a second. Um, actually, it's gonna be about five or 10 minutes for this flush, but I'll show you where I am. Okay, so I am about where I'm going to be. So, uh, the 
water coming from the freshwater tanks is at 417 parts per million, and that's pretty much stabilized. Uh, Brunswick has really hard water, so that's one of the reasons why that's uh, unusually high. And then we're over here, um, this is pretty much settled out. So right now I am making water with this 416 parts per million water, just with the pressure of the uh, freshwater pump, which is, to, I showed you, 48 pounds per square inch and I'm producing 29 parts per million or 28. So this is pretty much stabilized. So I'm going to say that both the brine side and the product side are completely flushed. I'm going to shut off the pump and I'm going to start the pickling process now. Okay, we're getting ready to pickle. And what we use is RV and Marine Freshwater System Antifreeze. The reason that this is important is the membranes need to remain moist, wet, uh, during their pickling period. And so it has to be a liquid, uh, you just couldn't you know, flush air through them. And the second part is it needs to be a solution that prevents any sort of algae or microbial growth. And in the past, we used a special acid solution that was designed by the membrane manufacturer to prevent that microbial growth but we found the acid actually caused issue with some of the fittings. It was so acidic. And one of the things that the membrane manufacturer said that there is an option to use this antifreeze. And we've been using this about seven years and it has been working great. So here's the procedure. We have a five gallon bucket. We've put four gallons of the freshwater system antifreeze in it. I have disconnected the hose from the seacock uh, that goes through the sea strainer and will go through the um, low pressure pump, which will force it through the filters, through the high pressure pump, through the membranes and overside. And we'll be able to see from the sight glasses that we've completely flooded the system with the antifreeze because of course it's colored. Uh, one of the things about our low pressure pump is it's a centrifugal pump and it does not prime. So most likely I'm going to have to fill this hose with a little bit of antifreeze. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm just gonna hold this up over the bucket and I'm just gonna pour in a little bit of antifreeze so that I don't have an air gap in there. And that looks like I'm there. So I'm now gonna cover my finger over the hose. I'm going to hold it until I go into the antifreeze. And now I'm going to flip on the low pressure pump. I'm going to make sure I have enough slack with the hose. And here goes the pump. pumping now. I can start to see pink through the hose. The filters are just starting to get a little pink. And while this is sucking down, I'm going to continue to fill this. So I'm just going to wait until this is pretty much empty. Tracy will show you the filters now. They'll show you the light ones. You can see that they're pretty much completely submerged. Now I'm going to tip the bucket up a little bit so I get it down in the corner. 
I still have a little bit of ways to go, but I want to make sure I use as much as this I can. And then as soon as I shut this pump off, I'm going to run up front and close the overboard seat cock because I want to hold all this in there. I don't want any kind of siphon function to siphon this antifreeze overboard. Now I'm about uh, 20 seconds away. As you can see, I pointed out in the other part that um, the brine water flow indicator is full of pink uh, antifreeze. So that means we're done with this pickling. Uh, the entire system from the water intake all the way through the membranes, high pressure pump, low pressure pump, and all the plumbing through here is all in antifreeze, which will prevent any of that microbial or algae growth. So we're good. Um, with that, I'm gonna end the video. Thank you for commenting viewing, subscribing, and watching, of course. And until next week, thank you for hanging in.